Hello and welcome to part two for July 30th, the alphas. This is going to be focused on adjusting the first win ratio now that we're crossing into August. So let's go ahead and work on that. So all the ones and all the ones we're going to go through every one of these and make sure that they accept these two. I'll click those later, but uh, we're going to be going to the win. Win ratio is right there. You have the three to one ratio, you know, risk one unit to make three. But once price has cleared the first ratio, as it's done here and it's done here, it's now going to get that stop here. The reason behind it is to protect capital rule number one, and protect profit rule number two, but still give the opportunity that if this is going to take off and get to a DTE win uh, at, at date of expiration, and this is October for $135, then we're going to let that run. I mean, today was pretty exciting during the day, and when unfortunately we did have a shooting star. That is a call, a shooting star. It's not a good sign. It's like uh, price got up here and then the sellers came into the field and they pushed the price back down. And now there's anticipation that this might be coming down here. The question is, will it get down to our first ratio? If it does, it will get out with some kind of a profit to build up the buying power. As you can see, we got 609 and that's because DBA got stopped out. And that's presented in the in today's uh, uh, part one of today's earlier video. Uh, so we're going to be focusing on what they call adjusting the stops for the first ratio, and that's going to be here at 137.60, and it was already done at 137.60, but we have to also bring up our, our chart notes. So right here, 130, and now it's going to be called, this is first win ratio stop at 37.60. 60 and why did that oh i know what happened number locks so, ha, 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 ha. okay so there we are there we are so we're going to capture this because we're going when we go to the uh, notes we're going to be dropping that into the notes zone so go ahead and copy it and now we have our notes done and we already done our order change here so now we go on to kr so we come down to KR and uh, KR, the first win ratio is 42.21. You can see it right there, 42.21, and it got as high as 41.95, and it didn't. It has to close above. Remember, it has to close up. Oh, wait a minute, I'm looking at the wrong ratio. Uh -huh. Looking at an old one. That's another thing too. It's not good about leaving old notes on the screen because it can get. It can just uh, uh, mis mislead you. Yes, it can be misleading. So our first ratio is way down here at 38.55. Right there is our first ratio. And uh, we have got, we, we tapped into the uh, third, fourth, fifth. We hit the fifth and then the fifth hit that resistance. But our stop is going to be here at 38.55. So we're going to come here to the uh, bubble and go okay this is what i don't like okay there we go and we are 38.55 so we'll go down here to the order ticket go to our conditional which is called the order rules and now we're going to 38.55 and save and send to confirm remember we copied the notes earlier we dropped that in first win ratio that's what we're looking for and now it's done so if price was to retreat all the way back here, we would try to get out with some kind of profit or close to break even as possible and get rebuild the buying coffer back into play. Okay, that then takes us to Monster. And here at Monster, it's the same exercise. We have to see it first, did it clear its first ratio? It did right there at 93.55. And is it clear today? Now remember, because we're doing it today, we have to make sure that this candle right here, and I just, let me zoom in a little bit closer, that this candle right here has to be above that 93.55. So let's go ahead and put here at low of here, and that is the low is 94.05. It qualifies. That would be a qualifier. So now we're going to come here and we're going to change our order ticket, I mean our notes, and I know it's going to reflect 93.55. So we come down here and we do this and 93.55. Good. 
Now we'll come to the order ticket. This is what the sales bubbles turned on. Cancel and replace. Side and 93.55. And send it. And away it goes. And send it. So now our next one is gold. So now we go see if gold has cleared its first ratio. And it looks like it hasn't. Let me go ahead and do a reset on the candle. And uh, yes, it is right there. Our first ratio is 168.40. 168.40 and the low is 169.39. So that qualifies. Yes, it's a qualifier. So we'll come here and our, it's going to be 168.40. So we'll come here and we'll hop on this. And 168.40. And send that away. Now, the order, now there's no order ticket here. Let me, oh, that's right, because I did a reset and it turns the order ticket off in my default. Turn it back on again. And, uh, and then we we'll go here. And it's 168.40. Come here, 168.40, good, and there it is, okay, and now we'll go on now to RTX, and RTX does not qualify, RTX's first ratio is 89.90, 89.60, and it is not. So that it will be a pass. Go to CVS. CVS, also same thing. There is no change here. It didn't qualify as of yet. Now we go to TLRY. And TLRY is here. And there is no change. There is a first ratio right there that we need to get to. And there it is, first ratio 1860, and there is no change. Also, while we're here, we'll review this. Uh, what's really funny is a lot of news about this company, but the stock price is not reflecting it. Um, also, we have a nice doji here, and it's above the 50% retracement of the uh, entry exit. So there is possibility of some support in this zone around $14, and maybe uh, turn around and go right back up along the um, – Indicators are a little bit of mixed signal. We have uptrending MACD histogram. We have uptrending value line, but we have a decreasing RSI, and we have a, up, a slightly increased stochastics. So come Monday, we'll see what happens. Now these two here, Yelp and Yelp and um, at t do not get this why because we are doing here this is our benchmark trade of an original dte this is an original following the exact rules of dte for these two as bet as test benchmarks against the rest of the field and you can see yelp returned back to a minus 48 percent and at&t fell also down to 50 percent so the rules of the game are it's either win or lose. Very close to binary options. It's going to be a win or a lose. And uh, well, and that is it for today for the adjustment stops for uh, first ratio stops starting for the Elvis shift for Monday for August 2nd, I believe. Yes, August 2nd. And with that, I thank you very much for stopping by and checking it out.